Make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon. JavaScript Memory Card Game Building a memory game can not only improve your JavaScript knowledge but can also help you improve your memory. In this project, we will be looking at creating a grid of cards that can be flipped over and matched. If a match is found, the cards stay flipped, if not, they will turn back. The game continues until all cards are flipped. Description The entire project source code is in the description below. Now let's play this game. In order to start you can flip a card or click on start to start the game. I pressed the start and our game is started now let's flip the cards. You have you flip two card and they match to each other and you need to do this for all to win the game. At the top of the game it shows how many cards you moved and also it shows the time, from starting to until now. Let me play this game until I will. Okay so I won the game and this message appears. This is the time which took me to win the game and also the number of time I moved the cards the lower the better. And I can press this replay button to restart the game. And more important thing I have to mention is our game is fully responsive and it works on mobile devices also. From the inspect element I changed the view as mobile device and as you can see it works just fine on mobile devices also. I'm sure you guys learned how this works. Now let's see how I made this and I explain step by step for you guys. This is our project folder. And inside it we have all the files which game is built of and we will talk about each one in a moment. Our first file is index.html. Inside this file we have the basic HTML5 structure. We imported our style.css and game.js at the top of the page. Inside the body tag we have the game structure. First we have the message area. After that this is the game section. We have the controller the button and the stats of game. After that we have board container which inside it we have the board that's where our cards will be located inside it. And after that we have the win and footer section. And that's all in index.html. This is style.css for styling the game. Before we check it, I have to remind you guys inside the assets folder we have a file called fredoka one regularttf which is a custom font file. And we gonna use this font in our game. So let's jump back to the style.css. First of all we used a font face and inside it we named our font family and linked our font to our style.css and later we used the font by using this font family name to our code. After that we have some basic design for our page and its background and also here we used that font in our HTML file. After that we applied design to every element in our code. This board container.flip.board is important because that's the transform or animation which when our board rotate. And this is some other designs for our elements and at the bottom of the code we used at media max width to make our game responsive. After that we have game.js which is the most important file in this code. First of all we create a selector object and inside it we selected our HTML elements by using query selector and put them inside these variables. This is also some other variables we selected and put them inside JS variables. After that we create state object and inside it create this variables with default values. After that we have this shuffle which run array as function and it's used for shuffling the array, so their order will be random each time the page is reloaded. The pick random function after cloning the original array, loops through the past array for n number of times represented by items, and gets an item from it at a random position, then returns the random picks at the end of the function. This is then forwarded to the shuffle function, which uses the Fisher Yates shuffling algorithm. If you want to know more about algorithm with detail let me know in the comment below. Pick random is for picking random items from an array. 
We want to pick items from emojis, and we want to pick half the items of the dimension. For example, if the dimension is set to 4, then the grid will have 16 items, 4 by 4, so we want to pick 8 random elements from the array. This is because we need two pairs for each emoji, so we pass picks, picks for shuffling. After that we have generate game function, which generating the board. The next step would be to generate the board based on the data dimension attribute. For this, we can create a new function called generate game and call it at the end of the file. Start game function, if the start button is clicked, and it is not disabled this function will be run and starting the game. Flip back cards this function is flipping cards. The last thing we need to cover from the CSS side is how to flip the cards. So this function flips the card for us. Flip card function with the card itself. We only call this function if the card hasn't been flipped yet. Note that we have the following in our DOM, so the click event will be triggered on dot card front, instead of dot card, that's why we need to pass event parent, instead of event target to the flip card function. In this section we check if there are no more cards that we can flip, we won the game. Attach event listeners function. We are going to need two different event listeners, one for the cards, and one for the start button. At the end of the code we run two functions on startup generate game and attach event listeners. That's it my friends, that's how you can make this game I hope you learned something if you have any question let me know in the comment below. If you like this video make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. Have a great time.